Hey, what's up guys? Skitter here and welcome to another video. Today we're gonna be playing as the zebra because people are saying that she's pretty OP this patch and I'm here to see it for myself. Now, I've read the patch notes and said that they have increased the knockout chance, which is pretty cool. And they have also added a knockout animation for the lion. I haven't seen it yet, but hopefully we will. Now, before we jump into the video, I just want to say that I'm doing the second round for my Animalia giveaway. The first round was a Animalia key, so you guys can play the game. The second round is a skin that you guys can win. You can win from African skin DLC, Halloween, Easter, etc. So if you guys want to participate, make sure you join my Discord link down in the description. Also, if you participate, you will be actually applying to one of my videos so if you do want to participate in one of my videos just for fun if you don't really care about the skins make sure to, to at least participate on the skin giveaway so without further ado let's just jump straight into the video so hopefully in this video we will have some cool hunts or in this case we are gonna get hunted but i do want to try out and see how many lines we can knock out this video or maybe leopards or hyenas if we can knock out hyenas i'm not pretty sure i do want to become the mike tyson of animalia but for that we need to have our fingers crossed so that the carnivores are really hungry so we can get a little uh, pvp and fun going on because recently when i play a herbivore i don't usually get hunted that often a lot of the times i just decide to switch to a carnivore because really people won't usually like to hunt adult herbivores and that, of course, depends on the herbivore itself, but that is kind of my experience. So, to raise our chance of getting hunted, why not come to our dear place, Oasis? They also added this dust particle, which is pretty cool, especially if we get in a uh, race. Just imagine seven zebras or buffaloes or whatever getting chased by seven or, or maybe ten lions the amount of dust that we would generate we would probably blind everybody is that a croc that just tried to eat me? I swear that there is a crocodile in this tall grass. He's a little sneaky guy, I, I do have to say that. Because no one would expect a crocodile on this tall grass. That is a brilliant play. I do have to say, I have to try it out. Maybe make a challenge where I survive on land as a crocodile instead of on water. There seems to be a lot of lions, like always, but... They don't really seem to be hungry. To the point of hunting me, so we do have to be patient because... You guys will see... A lot of prize with a lot of chunks and we might not even be hunted this video but it would be nice because I do want to knock out at least one lion that's why I'm playing solo because if you are solo the chances of you getting hunted are pretty high if you play as a herd then the chances are pretty low we're gonna rest here for a little bit Give it some time so that the uh, chunks go away and maybe let them get hungry for a little bit and try again.
Well guys, so I've decided to migrate all the way to the south because the oasis wasn't really doing anything. I gave it like 30 minutes or 40 minutes and nothing happened. It's, it becomes a little bit sad, I have to be honest, and it becomes also a little bit boring. I do want to try and make longer videos for you guys, but you have to understand that depending on the animal, you can have a lot of action, you can have a lot of content to bring. But when you play herbivore, you're at the mercy of the carnivores. So if the carnivores don't really want to hunt you, then I might spend two to three hours just doing nothing. And I don't think people will enjoy that. But this also shows the reality of Animalia. Because there are people who like to play carnivores just for the PvP. And there are people who like to play carnivores for the PvE. I don't blame them, but... I do see a lot of lions, leopards, and hyenas, or maybe wild dogs killing each other than trying to hunt a buffalo, trying to hunt a zebra or gnu. They seem to prefer fighting each other than trying to fight a herbivore, or trying to hunt a herbivore. Now, of course, I'm not saying that people don't do it. I'm just saying that it's not really often that you see Price trying to fight a gnu, a elephant, a buffalo, etc. You might see them fighting. If they have maybe a baby, they will go for the baby, but never for the adult, which, you know, it becomes a little bit boring. But I'll give it a few more minutes, a few more hours. We're going to try our luck, see if there is any brave lion pride or... Any brave carnival will try to hunt us down and see if we can try and knock them out. Looks like we have a little pride over there. Will this be it? <gasps> oh. He's too calling. Attack me. Hunt me down. Do what lions are supposed to do. Devour me. They are just chilling, I guess. Like I said, seems like people don't really like to hunt anymore in Animalia. They just prefer to socialize and chill. That's why you're gonna see a lot more carnivores. Because people who play herbivore, they will get bored pretty soon. And because carnivore is more exciting and you can hunt and you can fight and you can do this and that, then what's stopping people from playing carnivores? Oh. Is this one line or is this a pride? Well, we found a little small group, but because they're lying down next to the uh, food over there, I don't really think they will chase us. So we do have to go to the middle of the oasis once again to try out our luck. Because believe it or not, already one hour or so, maybe two hours has passed. And nothing really happened. 
Oh, looks like somebody got caught. It is funny because that wilder beast is probably the same wilder beast that we saw in the beginning of the video. And he's still alive. So it goes to show that uh there is no uh fights going on on the oasis. It seems like this buffalo also wants to get into a fight. But buffaloes are pretty OP. They seem to be pretty injured. Well, unfortunately, this probably is not the type of view that I wanted to make. I was expecting maybe uh, more PvP, more resistance, more fun, but I just don't understand why sometimes you have almost 80% of lines in a server or 60% of lines in the server and no one decides to hunt anything. They decide to just fight each other, kill Leos, kill other prides, kill uh, wild dogs or whatever. It becomes a little bit sad. <laughs> Why are you tree calling me, little boy? <laughs> we are friends, we should be together. Oh. Almost got the uh, crocodile. And the crocodile almost got the other uh, male lion. Guess I'll rest here a little bit. And then try once more. Because if nothing happens really, I just think we're gonna end the video at that. Sometimes. This goes to show that not every time that I play or I record Animalia, and this is also something that I do want to show you guys. Sometimes when I record Animalia or when I play this animal or that animal, usually nothing really happens. A lot of the times I have these type of recordings where really nothing happens. And I don't think a lot of you guys will enjoy this type of video, but this also goes to show the reality sometimes of the game and how players play and how things happen inside of a server. Maybe if you try tomorrow, we will have more action, more PvP, but I don't know. Every time that I play Lion or Leopard, I do try to hunt herbivores because I kind of see myself in them, you know. They're playing herbivores, they want to get chased, they want to have a good f PvP, they want to have fun. So I try to do that, even though if I don't kill them, or if I don't manage to uh, reach them, because some of them are pretty fast, but... That way, at least people will get motivated to play that animal. Instead of being, oh, I've played this animal and nothing happened, so I, that's why I'm playing Crocodile now. Well, unfortunately, we didn't get hunted. Two hours or maybe three hours passed and not really much happened. Luckily, 
This wildebeest over here got hunted by a leopard. But eventually he was able to knock out the leopard. Which I don't know if the wildebeest should have a knockout mechanic. Because that's something that zebras are known for doing. Not wildebeest. But uh, yeah. Maybe we'll have a better chance next time. So, uh, yeah. Well, guys, it seems like today is not really the day for our little zebra over here. I was expecting some chases and maybe some pvp but it seems like the lions are not really in a good mood today on the tpk i might try maybe a different time but uh who knows this is just one of the reasons why i don't really like to record herbivores because really you're at the mercy of the carnivores if you don't get chased then it will be just a normal regular video where nothing happens and i don't really like that I, I like to bring you guys some cool content cool pvp cool chases because i think that's what people like to see but make sure you guys join the giveaway if you guys want to win a anomalia survival skin so you guys can have extra slots because a lot of people keep complaining about three slots so if you guys win that giveaway you might be able to uh, unlock more slots for your animals. And if you guys are new and you like my animalic content, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and activate the little bell because some people say that they don't get my uh, video not notifications. And leave a comment for the YouTube algorithm. I'll see you guys in a next video. Take care. Peace.